Hello, I'm on Facts of Mars, and the left is launching yet another attack to try to unseat Donald Trump. Now, follow along with this. My previous two mental disorder of liberalism videos had to do with attacks that the left was bombing um, Donald Trump. And here's another one. What they're uh, thinking about doing is invoking the 25th Amendment. The 25th Amendment has to do with mental or physical problems rendering a person unable to maintain the office. Now, it looks to me like what they're planning is to use the 25th Amendment to attack the Donald uh, before he's ever inaugurated. Because remember, these people will pull any slimy, dirty trick. The Democratic Party is just full of... They're just despicable people. I'm talking about leadership. They're just utterly despicable. They, uh, have no morals. They have no scruples. They don't understand the difference between right and wrong. Well, let's get started on the article. Mid widespread protests and worrying about signs of dysfunction in administration, Do President elect Donald Trump. Millions across the United States are likely wondering how or if it was possible to oust a billionaire from the White House for the 2020 presidential campaign. There weren't protests, there were riots. There are criminal acts in many cases. Yeah, some of them were peaceful, and so they were covered by the First Amendment. The one I went to, the University of Rochester, that was peaceful. But nobody broke any laws, everything was fine. So there were some peaceful ones. I'll stand up for the right to say it, even though I disagree with them. Uh, the amendment was approved in 1967, pushed into the existence in the wake of stunning 1963 death of President John F. Kennedy, who was assassinated in Dallas. Constitutionally, Constitution never had officially laid out a succession plan that detailed ex how exactly Vice President should take power should the President no longer be able to carry out his or her duties. Up until that amendment, Vice Presidents effectively took over because of a precedent set by Vice President John Tyler in 1841 according to the National Constitution Center. The 25th Amendment clears spelled out that Vice President took over if the President died, resigned, or more importantly was removed from office. Here's what I think they're trying to do, and we'll have to wait and see if I'm right or not. I think they're trying to take this Say, he wasn't qualified to run because he's mentally ill, so we're going to have to nullify the election. They want to nullify this election. Now, uh, uh, Jim Quinn of WarRoom.com, he has this uh, talk show. He's saying something different. He's saying with the election recounts, they're trying to delay things long enough so that they effectively kill an electoral college win of Donald Trump and then it goes to the uh, House for Trump and Senate for uh, uh, Mike Pence that's if they vote that way it goes from the President to the House and the Senate gets Vice President and they do the electing I disagree with that to an extent. I think that would be... I can't imagine these people would do something reckless like that in order to uh, just be able to say, well, the president was selected, not elected. But who knows? Quinn could be right. And it goes on to talk about how they could do this. But they've tipped off their hand. 
They launched yet another attack against Trump. These people aren't going to stop. You know, Russia's right about that. They are not going to stop. Um, you know, we're headed, in all likelihood, we're headed towards some kind of a constitutional crisis. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. Uh, I hope it doesn't come to guns in the street, but who knows it could. I don't want to see that. I want to see these people just start acting their age. Uh, Keith Olbermann, I might deal with this video, I might not, depending on my time. Keith Olbermann, who is a wacko nutcase liberal, call it an instant impeachment sort of crazy man's clause. For my money, he's nuts. No, you're nuts. Couldn't pass the sanity test open book, Overman said. But of course, Section 4 of the 25th Amendment here does not say nuts or impaired or erratic or unbalanced or unhealthy or bipolar or narcissist or sociopath or psychopath. Well, he says that the president is unable to discharge powers, duties of his office. Uh, Mr. Oberyn, Oberyn, sir, you're an utter disgrace to this country. I wish you would just leave. But you know, here you go. These dirtbags. They'll do anything. They have no shame. They have no morals. They have no scruples. That party is just beyond belief. It's like having, uh, it's like having that party full of old Chicago uh, gang members, old time gang members, not today's gang members. You know, like Capone and whoever else. I never really studied the uh, Chicago gangs, so other than a little bit of. Compone. Well, that's basically what you have. The Democratic Party is full of ruthless, good for nothing, lying skunks. And this just proves it. It's going to be. We have a little under two months before the inauguration. This is going to be real interesting real soon. Wouldn't surprise me if they tried something over Christmas. We'll have to wait and see. I want to fax Mars. Thanks for watching.